Hello, I've been buying some more kits so I thought I'd give you a bit of a show of what they look like. This isn't a first look, this is just a inbox review. Uh, first one, Afix Fuga Magister. Um, it's actually a 1975 kit but I'll show you why, I know that later on. Uh, one of those tricks that Afix does, big box and same small kit inside. They could e easily do with a smaller box than this but uh, I suppose it makes people feel as if they're getting more for their money than they uh, maybe are. Very ordinary kit inside, well I say very ordinary, let's not, let's not jump again and make a comment about that. Um, I said it was a 1975 kit and the reason I know that is because inside it's got the, uh, you can't see it from this view, but believe me it says much pro uh, Apex product 1975 that way around. So the fuselage is from the 70s and looking at the sprue you can see it's a classic, classic kit really. Um, but what they've done is got a bit of a hybrid thing going on. Whereas the fuselage and in fact the wings, which come in two parts as they traditionally did, are from the 70s and have some raised panel lines and the uh, riveting you can feel with, with your fingers. It's quite, quite large really but uh, that can be filed down if you need to, if you think that's uh, appropriate. Or we'll leave it as it is, up to you. Um, but when it comes to other items like the uh, seating, seating pod or bath, whatever you want to slang word for, for it you can think of, <laughs> um, it's quite detailed. I don't know if it'll show up on the camera, but it's quite uh, quite a detailed little kit there. Um, you've got details for the uh, controls on the side and the seats are quite well moulded so they're quite brand new looking, like a new tool seat area whereas the section on the end of the wind, wind tanks the second half of the wind tanks which you add to the end of the wing is so badly um, well so old that you've got a bit of a that's not so much a um, flash but a peg that is totally needing to be removed uh, and there's one or two flashy areas but uh, apart from that it's not they've obviously gone through it and tried to clean up the, the tooling get a bit of flash like you would expect but that's around the control column areas you've also got a upgraded uh, control panel, if I can find out which there they are. I think they're upgraded because they're quite detailed and you can paint them and uh, make them look quite good. Whereas the poor people who have to sit in it have had the, their feet removed. So it's your uh, half moulded seats. I won't be using them anyway, I don't usually mo uh, model with the uh, crew. Uh, there's two two options. You've got the Irish Airco and the Belgian option there. The, the uh, deck will seem to be an upgrade to what you would have had back in the 70s. And uh, likewise got a nice colour Decals information sheet. Uh, now this is the strangest part. Instead of saying this is an optional to have the wheels, you've got a question mark for every part of the undercarriage. That's just bizarre. It's like 11 different question marks when you could just have one there and a little silhouette of wheels down or wheels up. Same with the, same with the uh, wheels up. But uh, they've obviously adapted an old kit even to, down to the instructions but 
price reflects that. It's, uh, I got it discounted from my hands and uh, when the time comes I'll probably enjoy making that. So there we are, the uh, latest edition of the Fuga Magister from AFX.